welcome. Uh, we're here today to talk about our 2019 laptop for the incoming students this year in just a few weeks. Uh, my name is Ben Fletcher. I'm the Vice President of Business Operations and I'm over IT, which is why I have something to do with this. <laughs> and I'm joined by Kenneth, uh, one of our students who works in IT and works in the student window. When you have something wrong, he's going to be the guy that fixes it. I'll let him introduce himself. <laughs> All right. Hey, I'm Kenneth Stevens. Uh, I am in the BSIS degree. I joined Newmont in uh, fall of 2017, so that means that I'm a junior now. And uh, I've had a lot of time. I've had a lot of fun while we've been here. Um, I've enjoyed my time. We've had a lot of fun things to do, a lot of fun projects, and uh, I'm happy to help you when you come by the window. Very cool. So for the last couple of months, really, we have been combing through the laptops on the market, <laughs> trying to find the right laptop. Kenneth has been put through the paces. He yeah. has been in charge of testing them all, making sure that uh, you know the specs are right, mm -hmm. and then compare, doing comparing and contrasting. And what we have landed on is Lenovo's P1 Generation 2. Yes. So uh, if any of you look up our video from last year uh, with Nick doing the unboxing, that was the P1 Generation 1. Mm -hmm. And uh, Lenovo has again produced a fantastic laptop for us that we think is going to be absolutely great Definitely. for the incoming class. So let's unbox it and see what we got. So it comes in a box like this. It's a little beat up because we have been working this thing over quite a bit, <laughs> but um, go ahead and, and let's see what we got here, Kenneth, and explain it as we go. All right, sweet. Okay, so uh, it's, uh, I'm going to go ahead and open it up, pull out the tab, pull out the top. So the way this one's packaged, you get right to the goods. You just got a little piece of foam, and then bam, whoops. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead. Uh, I got the box. Bam. There you go. Got your laptop. You got a little bit of documentation if you're into that. So uh, if you watch the last one, you'll notice that it's very similar. Uh, the external characteristics basically identical. Uh, so you got a nice matte finish on the top. Open it up, and this is what you get. So uh, my favorite things about uh, this laptop are uh, the identity features. So right normally with a normal computer, you know, you sign in, got to type in your password. Uh, you know, this is 8, 10, 20, 50 characters, however insane you are. Uh, it can get annoying, especially uh, if you're typing it in your admin password over and over to do updates and whatnot. So with this one, you have two different options outside of a password. First, you have a fingerprint sensor right here. You can program in a bunch of different fingerprints, and uh, it's really accurate really, really fast. Secondly, and this is new with the Generation 2, this has Windows Hello facial recognition, which means that as soon as you open up the laptop, it scans your face, automatically logs in, you can get to work. Really quick, really nice, really convenient. Very cool. Saves a lot of time, too. Yeah. <laughs> and it's got the nifty little, like, protect my identity, I can block my camera switch on the top, yeah, right? Yeah, have no idea what Make, you're doing. So even if somebody <laughs> hacks it and, uh, and tries to turn your camera on, you can still block them out. So that's pretty cool. And it's built in now. You don't have to put a sticky note over the top. Yeah. Of it. <laughs> yeah, that's really nice. <laughs> cool. All right. So yeah, basic keyboard layout, uh, traditional ThinkPad. If you like the little uh, wiggle your finger thing, uh, what do you think of the trackpad? It's pretty much the same as last year's, mm -hmm. right? Yep, very accurate. It's a Windows Precision trackpad. So uh, Multi-touch, no, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yep. multi-touch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's great. I love the trackpad. Pinch to zoom and all that good yep. stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. <laughs> uh, screen size, what are we looking at? So we are looking at a 15-inch screen. It's 1080p, uh, matte finish. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, pretty small, yeah. 500 nit. Mm -hmm. So yes, we're going to show bright. you a little bit later. Um, this screen is almost twice the brightness of last year's mm -hmm. screen. Very, uh, we, very bright. We think that this is actually daylight viewable. Yeah. Probably mm -hmm. can go outside and see it pretty well in the daylight. Yeah. Um, standard keyboard. Other than that, I mean, let's get to the ports on this thing. All right. So starting on the left side, we have your charge port. You have two USB-C Thunderbolt 3 ports. You have a full-sized HDMI port. You have an accessory port for your uh, Ethernet adapter and you have a headphone jack. And the Ethernet adapter port um, is actually a gigabit Ethernet adapter. So rather than converting from, say, USB-C and having to do a, a bunch of protocol conversions and whatever, it's straight, legit gigabit Ethernet adapter. Um, they just miniaturized it, and then you st we stick a little uh, <laughs> yeah. dongle, I guess, yeah. on it, and we get, uh, we get Ethernet out of it. So yeah. yeah. Backside, anything on the back to note? Just the nope. hinge, yep. nice clean back. What about this side? So this side, we've got uh, an SD card reader if you're into that, and we have two full-size USB-A ports, 
And we have a Kensington lock if you don't want someone to run away with your machine. Are the USB A's USB 3? Yes, they are. Okay, so USB 3 capable. Yep. We get the full speeds out of those. Um, and then front side, no latch. Um, I like that you don't have to hit a latch when you open mm -hmm. it. You can just yeah. kind of pull the thing open, right? Mm -hmm. um, screen extends. Completely lays flat. flat. Makes it really easy to yeah. clean the screen. Super easy to clean um, and, and just kind of nice to be yeah. able to lay your screen flat. Get, yeah. get the right viewing angle depending <laughs> on what you're sitting at, right? Mm -hmm. uh, bottom side, you, uh, so, couple uh, of feet. Yep, yep. Uh, so so uh, a well, uh, taller back one so that it's uh, angled slightly towards you and it makes it uh, typing a little bit easier. Makes it a little easier yep. to type. A little bit later, we'll pop the case on mm -hmm. this and yeah. take a look. So accessories that came with it. Mm -hmm. So in this little box you got, we will start out. You have your 135 watt charger. There is This is the piece that plugs into the wall. And this is the actual power brick that you'll plug into your machine. And then, finally, the fun part, this is that 10 gigabit Ethernet adapter that Ben was talking about. It's yep. great, really fast. Really cool. Uh, nice, small, I mean, looking at this, Definitely, in years past, we have had bricks. Yeah, right. Yeah. Like some of our some of our older ones are like huge. These huge <laughs> bricks. Um, so this is definitely a lot smaller, a lot tighter. I like that they uh, they throw the edge on it, so yeah. you can wrap the cord really, around yeah. it, yeah. right? Really nice. And then they also include the kind of the built-in. Uh, Oh, cable management yeah, cable management, but it's like attached, so mm -hmm. like it doesn't, you don't yeah. lose it, right? Yeah. When yeah. it goes away, mm -hmm. uh, and then of course this this just plugs into there. Yep. So uh, Ethernet wise, uh, it's for those of you going into the information systems program, mm -hmm. Ethernet is critical, yeah. right? How many times <laughs> have, nice. you, have yeah. you had to plug into a switch, like <laughs> Quite physically, a few. Yeah, right? Especially once we get into the server. Once room. you get yeah. into the server room, you really got to plug into stuff. So this is a critical piece, a critical component that you're going to need. Uh, it's got its own little special adapter there, and then like I said, it is a full gigabit Ethernet port so it's not being translated through the USB-C. So you actually get true gigabit Ethernet out of this, um, which is fantastic. So uh, internals-wise, everybody likes to see the inside of the machine. Should yeah. we open it up? Yeah, all right. OK. Get so I'll leave those around. there and get rid of some of this plastic. So these machines, uh, unlike a lot of the other machines uh, on the market, they use all Phillips head screwdriver uh, screws so that you, know, you don't have to buy a Torx screwdriver or anything ridiculous nice. like that. Um, they're held on with only a few. They're all retention, so they're not going to fall out on you. And once you get them all loosened up, it's just a few clips around the back, and you're in. Thing pops right open for us. Nice. So yeah, nice, nice internals. I know uh, just from talking to the Lenovo rep that they worked really long and hard on the thermals for this thing because the internals, they, they, this is a significant upgrade from last year, yes. right? Yes. So chip-wise, what are we looking at? So we're looking at an i9, eight cores hyper-threaded. So okay. that puts out a lot of heat, but this handles it very well. Which last year was a i7, i7 uh, six core. Mm -hmm. So we added two cores mm -hmm. and we bumped, I think the, the gigahertz as well. Yes, so yes, bit, base yeah. gigahertz mm -hmm. got bumped by two or 300. Um, we went to eight cores, 16 uh, hyper-threaded. So when you pull up device manager on this, yeah. it's just like Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> so you have this huge yeah, section. Just like great. huge <laughs> list of, uh, of uh, cores. Mm -hmm. And then memory wise? Memory wise, uh, 32, gig uh, 32 gigabytes of RAM. Okay. Um, uh, 2133 megahertz. 2133 megahertz RAM, fantastic. Uh, wireless. Uh, so wireless, these have... Uh, these have the new AX. Uh, oh, they do? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> yeah, so these have the new uh, MIMO AX chips in them. So uh, I guess it's the new standard is Wi-Fi 6, if you're mm -hmm. into that kind yeah. of stuff. But uh, yeah, these have the new AX chips. So these things nice. are real quick. Th this is your wireless card right mm -hmm. here. Uh, those are the antennas coming out of it that we got going on. Mm -hmm. Here's your two memory slots right here. Um, and uh, it is dual DIMM, dual 16 gig DIMMs mm -hmm. yep. for a full 32 gig. Mm -hmm. And then hard drive, we took a bump in that too, didn't we? Yeah, we got a terabyte NVMe SSD. So right. very fast, very large. Yep, <laughs> you, that's, you, you that's, that's that little chip right there. That whole yep. little chip right there is a terabyte uh, NVMe yep. M.2. So it's native M.2. It's not going through uh, the, the like a SATA controller or anything like that. This is straight to the PCI bus M.2. Mm -hmm. Super fast hard drive and we doubled the space over last year. Yeah, last yeah, year was 512, great. went okay. to a terabyte this year. That's going to be super useful for yeah. loading up VMs, right? <laughs> yes, definitely. When you get definitely. into that Windows Server class and you have to have like 
10 VMs yeah, all running yeah. at the same That's time nice. on this poor little machine. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, awesome. battery wise, uh, still the same uh, as before in terms of wattage, mm -hmm. but this year we did something cool uh, as part of our warranty service and our accidental damage protection service, we added battery into that for three years. Mm -hmm. So for all three years uh, that students are gonna go to school, the incoming yeah. group, if their batteries have issues, if we get swelling batteries, batteries that won't charge, whatever, it's fully warrantied. Yeah, um, awesome. Which this is the first year we've actually had the battery yeah. warranty. The machines have always been warranty, mm -hmm. right? Yep. ADP. Yep. Um, so if you drop it, if you spill a Coke in it, please don't spill a Coke in it. It makes us cry. <laughs> I have to, to do see. more work. <laughs> yeah, Kenneth has to do more work if you spill a Coke in it. Uh, but if, if that does happen, um, full accidental damage. Yeah, definitely. You take care of it, right? Yeah, like, you pretty much just walk up to the window. I take out your drive, swap it into a loaner, and you walk off all happy. Yeah. <laughs> so what? Like two, three minutes, right? Yeah. Like yeah. Very quick. Very straight quick. back to class. No like waiting a week for right. it to come back or yep. anything like that. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, this looks, it looks like a pretty impressive machine. Speakers are down here on the bottom, mm -hmm. yep. um, dual fans. Oh, and then the other big upgrade, we haven't talked yeah. about video. Yeah. yeah. So uh, this year we have a Quadro T2000, which is uh, around GTX 1650 uh, performance level. And uh, it is the Tensor level. That's yes. the T part of it. Yeah. So yeah. the new NVIDIA Tensor cores, mm -hmm. yeah, which is super cool. Yeah, it performs really well. I'm talking like, we, we were playing uh, Rainbow Six Siege in 4K and it was it was playable. <laughs> it <laughs> like was playable. it was honestly impressive how it was doing. From a laptop. Yeah. <laughs> from a from laptop, a laptop that's thing. like I don't even know how thin. What, what would you call this? Like half that's an like, inch thick maybe? Yeah, yeah, something like with that. With the cover on Super it. Super light too. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think they're only uh, just over three pounds. That, that seems right, yeah. Just over three pounds. Mm -hmm. So yeah, they're not very heavy yeah. at all. So yeah, well, let's throw the cover back on, right. uh, boot this thing up and uh, take a look at it. We're gonna uh, bust out last year's and uh, show you the screen brightness difference because that's pretty cool. And then um, we'll get it booted up and uh, maybe even fire a game. Do we even have any games yeah. left on this? Yep. Okay, fire a game up and take a look at that. All right. Cool. <laughs> so here we go. So other laptops we looked at this year, what else did we test? So we tested a Dell XPS 1700 series. Okay. And uh, it was really great, but uh, we decided to choose Lenovo over them because of Lenovo's superior uh, support contract that we have with them. Yeah. Yeah, that battery contract, yeah. that battery yeah. contract is pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, it's amazing. And we <laughs> also <laughs> looked at the P1 Gen 2 with an i7 at Correct. one point. Yes. Uh, but Intel, so just so you know, these aren't even shipping yet. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Lenovo's not even manufacturing them yet. Matter of fact, they don't even drop to manufacture till the end of August. <laughs> so we are getting like the yeah. first like couple hundred yes. of these coming yes. off the line. Mm -hmm. um, we really... We cut our margins very close this year. <laughs> we were very worried that we weren't going to have laptops for you when you got here, but we are. And um, but we were able to get that i9 upgrade, which is a yeah, huge upgrade, which is amazing. Um, it really pushed the. It's it's about a twenty to thirty percent in, uh, yes. speed increase. Yes, on all of the testing we're doing, especially in very high per threaded uh, workloads. We're like, uh, for example, uh, seven branch uh, compression benchmark. It was about. Uh, uh, about maybe 30, 40% faster. Like, so you, you definitely noticeable, definitely noticeable than last year's as well. Huge noticeable. Yep. So it looks like you have Windows Hello on this. Yep. So if we turn it and you look at it, did it log yeah. in? Oh, no, we waited too long. Oh, we waited too long. <laughs> now will yeah. log in? Uh, no, okay. Okay. We gotta put it to sleep again. Oh, it's okay. It's we can just type in that. Okay, all right. If you all wait right. too long, then it thinks that you're uh, trying yeah, to break it. Into gets it gets worried. It, yeah. It's like, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> So yeah, the, the Windows Hello he's got set up so that it just logs in. Um, here it comes. There we go. I just have to use the okay. fingerprint sensor. Fingerprint sensor logged right in. So yep. basic Windows login. Yep. Uh, when you get the machine, it's got a pre-built image that mm -hmm. we've created in IT. Yep. Uh, it's got most of the software for your quarter one, mm -hmm. all of the IDEs, the, the software that you're gonna need to go yep. through intro, stuff mm -hmm. like that. And it's also been optimized. So we're gonna have all the latest drivers. We're gonna have all the latest Windows mm -hmm. updates. We're gonna have like all that stuff's gonna be taken care of, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And uh, you'll also receive a USB drive with the exact same image so that if anything ever happens to your computer, uh, you install just you know a slightly sketchy thing and you end up, you know, and, uh, Nobody kinda, ever kinda installs <laughs> sketchy stuff at Newmont. <laughs> if anything like that ever happens, it's really easy to re-image your machine. Very cool. Yeah, you just pop it in the side, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Pop it in the side, reboot, it loads the image, yep. it just wipes out your machine, takes really it back easy. to factory fresh. Really easy, really yeah. easy. It's really cool. What do we got that we can load up on here? All right, so I have Heaven Benchmark on here. Nice. It is a, uh, it runs in uh, DirectX 11, and uh, it's a somewhat good, uh, an indicator of overall performance. 
Very cool. And very it looks cool. pretty. So. And it looks very cool. <laughs> yes, I like it. So how long does it you normally take to load? Uh, it normally takes a few seconds to load. Okay. On this one, uh, in testing, even with the uh, other potential uh, Lenovo machine, so this was still even faster than the i7, which is is. is I mean, crazy. it looks pretty dang smooth. I gotta yeah, be honest, and the rendering smooth. looks beautiful on it. Mm -hmm. um, screen brightness, do we have it all the way up on this one? Yep. Okay. There very cool. So screen yeah. brightness is up, and that's pretty decent smoothness um, yeah. coming out of the benchmark. So mm -hmm. yeah, I, I think from a. From a, we're looking at 60 frame a second here, according yeah. to the top corner here, yep. um, running on the T2000. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I mean, this is this is holding kind of 49 to 60 real smoothly. Yeah. yeah. Um, and and yeah, I mean, you're getting that kind of smoothness out of it. So yeah. from a performance <laughs> perspective, these, yeah. these tensor cores are really cool. Yeah, yeah, they're great. Right? They're awesome. That's fantastic. Should we grab the other machine and let's just take a yeah. look at the screen brightness? Sure. Cool. So slide that one aside and let's boot up so this is last year's model. This is the P1 from uh, 2018, the 2018 yep. start. And uh, we'll get this guy booted up and then we'll throw them side by side there and take a look at them. But yeah, in all of your working with this, have you found any issues at all? Uh, no, it's been a really good machine. It's been very, very stable. Uh, I've had absolutely no thermal problems with it, even pushing it very hard, letting this run. It, it will run on an infinite loop, letting it run for an hour. The CPU is well below TJ Maxx. It doesn't throttle at all. You're going to have a good experience. Let me sign in. Let him log into this one. Cool. How do we get white screens up so we can take a look at that? Uh, let's go ahead. I have a file somewhere. There it is. Let's all right. Open that up. And F11. Just kind of white screen it here. I'm going to make yeah. sure this one is full brightness all the way up. We'll spin it this way. And then he'll take a look at that one and we'll lay them out side by side here. So this is last year's P1, still a fantastic machine. I7, six cores, 32 gig of RAM, screaming fast uh, M.2 hard drive. Um, but we just, we took it to another level this year. <laughs> I mean, we, we really did. And it, I know that there was a ton of effort that went into this from IT and everybody involved mm -hmm. to make sure we're getting the best machines for our incoming yeah, students. Definitely, definitely. And these are these are no slouches by any, any sense of the word. Open. Go and there we go, full brightness. Full brightness, spin them around. Right. So hopefully, I mean, I can see it here. I'm hoping the camera's kind of picking this up for <laughs> you, but you can see the brightness. I mean, like there is, it's it's almost twice as bright, right? Yeah, it's, it's very um, bright. It's, it's significantly different. If you're sitting outside with this, you're probably gonna be able to see what's yeah. on the screen. Mm -hmm. This one may be a, a, a little bit dull. So full HD, 1920 by 1080 yep. on both mm -hmm. screens, yep. um, 60 hertz, the whole deal. So yeah. It's great. Um, we're really excited for these computers. Yeah. I, I mean, I don't know if you could tell. <laughs> I really want to steal one of these. <laughs> <laughs> Kenneth is Kenneth's trying to work his way into one yeah. of these. So <laughs> he's uh, and working for IT. I mean, I got to be honest. You yeah. know, there's a good shot. He might get his hands on. <laughs> I might want to sneak one in there. Sneak one in there. Yeah. So anyway, anything else we should tell all everybody that's coming? Uh, the uh, I'm going to talk about the typing experience on the keyboard a little bit. Cool. Um, I really like uh, this keyboard because most keyboards uh, think uh, Dell keyboards or even uh, to go further on that scale, the uh, new MacBook Pro keyboards. Very short travel distance. Um, some people like that. I personally don't. I like to feel a little bit, I like to when I push it down, I like to feel that little bit of travel. And these keys have a really good response feel. And uh, I can type very quickly on it, very consistently on it. I love this keyboard. Cool. What's the gaming experience like when you're really pounding on the keys? Oh, it's awesome. <laughs> like they're, they're <laughs> coming great. back at you yeah. really good? Mm -hmm. yep. Very you cool. You can feel it, yeah. OK, <laughs> awesome. Very good. Well, I think that's about it. All right. We look forward to having you all here. Uh, it's coming down, right? I yeah. mean, we're, we're, we're in August and uh, end of September. That's when all the new students show up. Mm -hmm. IT's got a lot of work to do between yep. now and then. <laughs> I'm going to have get a long ready. list. Uh, but the new. Lenovo P1 Gen 2, mm -hmm. uh, it, I think, is going to be fantastic. Yeah, it's going to be a, a seriously definitely. cool computer. Yeah. Uh, come by and say hi to me at the window. For sure. <laughs> yeah. Kenneth, thanks so much. No problem. Thank you. See ya.